So yesterday we were going to start doing the walls of the inside of the truck camper and you notice that Lou in this clip is just sitting here contemplating trying to figure out what is going to be the next step because it's always measure measure and measure right um, so at that point we kind of decided instead of doing um, a cabinet on one side and then just the wall on the other with a small little storage box um, to do just cabinets on both sides one side is going to be a lot thinner than the other um, whereas the, uh, the other side is going to stay large because that's where the toilet's going to go, the fridge is going to go. So we head over to Home Depot last night after doing some measurements and got some wood, had it pre-cut there so that is perfect. Um, and now today it's a matter of sanding, painting, assembling, and then loading it in. Well, this is new. I haven't seen that before. Yeah. Corner mates. So supposedly you stick one piece of wood here and uh -huh. one piece of wood here and it creates the angle for you and holds it in place. Oh, super cool. Yeah. Me gusta. First things first, Lou is drawing out a little notch mm -hmm. or a little mark on where she's going to do a notch because you see like this thing that sticks out here? It sticks out all the way across. And if we don't cut out that notch, then this doesn't go all the way in. That's what's getting done first. Good job, Luke. Yeah. So the notch is then. <laughs> right. There she goes. For those of you guys that don't see her work, she works very hard. <laughs> I just hold the camera most of the time. <laughs> no, it's not true. It's not true. <laughs> Alright, you ready to climb in there or you want me to climb in there? Oh, perfect! Look at that! Look at that! It's perfect to the front. Look at that. Nobody's holding it in place. It's just that little notch that Luke cut out. So, we got to sand it. Put the front cover and then put the top and this is our skinny little cabinet. That's going to be great storage in there. So Lou has positioned this and now she's going to do the pre-holes. The pre-drilling. Pre-drilling. <laughs> yeah. It's basically time to sand everything. These little notches that are her little support beams and then all of the wood. See you guys in a little bit. So before we screw it in, we're adding wood glue and this is probably not the best angle. This is just dripping. <laughs> and then now let me hold it in place so that Luke can put those corner thingies back on to hold it. Nice and slow. <laughs> Split the wood. No. Well, she's doing the carrying this time. Try this baby out. See how she's looking. Right into the notch over there. There we go. Now it's in the notch. Sure, we have to push it more. In yeah, we might have to push it a little. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, so now the next step we are not going to um, 
install it just yet because we want to paint it before we install it. But Lou's going to put some supporting beams on the front and back of the wheel well um, between the truck wall and then the cabinet wall. So that is the next step. So there was lots of extra wood and I of course did not discard it and leave it with them. So I brought it with us and it's perfect. So now she's going to go ahead and cut it. I wrote it down. It was eight and something. <laughs> Don't remember off the top of my head anymore. So I cut both of these for each side of the wheel well. Okay, the sun is starting to go down, as you'll life. see. <laughs> but we did at least get the um, center supporting beams that's around the wheel well already done and in. So Lou is just going to place it for now, and we are basically going to be done tonight. Now what's left is basically screwing in the top part of the cabinet. And then once we get that screwed in, we're still going to take it out. We're not going to screw it into the truck yet because I'm going to have to paint it. Um, yeah, and that's it. Well, hello everyone. It is day two of wrapping up the driver's side cabinets. Um, we're not going to have too many hours today like we did yesterday because I just got off of work. So it's about getting off. Famous last words. <laughs> getting off of work. Um, we have a few hours before it starts getting dark again. But let's see if we can actually finish the driver's side cabinet today. I think we can. That's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> so yesterday before we finished, Luke cut some little blocks is the best way to describe it. And they're basically gonna be supports to hold these um, middle frames, I guess? Planks that's gonna go around the wheel well to hold it well in place. So just for extra support. And that's basically what she's gonna do now is drill into them, I guess do the pre-drilling. This is what I'm doing right here. Oh, let me come over there. I'm just gonna add a little extra support there. Mm -hmm. For this is this to prevent from this section to move too much and to have some balance and this is just you know because i over engineer everything and i don't know i'm not a carpenter <laughs> so i figure okay more is more yeah so awesome so a little bit of wood glue first and then i am going to hold it in place first i'm going to let go of the camera so she can drill through yeah. Yeah. Got it? It did. Good job. Okay, so Lou's got all the supporting blocks in. One, two, three, four, and five. Now it's basically time to work on the top. Let me explain something that just happened off camera. So we just put the top on top of this so that we can draw out lines of where those these little separations are. Because these separations are also going to end up being the basically dividing areas for storage. So this area that this line is at, that's going to be a top that we can lift up and access everything under. Same as this large one, this is the wheel one. We can lift that up, create a hole in the middle or something, and that will be our access as well as on that side. And you wanted to cut this one in half or you decided not to? I know you were thinking about it. I don't know if you told me the explanation. Um, we can cut it in half. Let's go ahead and get this other end and then we can decide there where the half is. You want a more centered line? Oh, you want to cut some. Okay, 
okay now that all eight blocks are done you guys know what that means time to sand because look at that time to sand all of these Okay, so all the tops have their little notch to make sure that they don't slide out. And Lou is assembling it, pushing it into its place, just so that we can get a look of what it's gonna look like before it actually gets screwed in to the truck. We had to stop building and recording like promptly yesterday because it started raining. Like, of course, South Florida downpour of rain. Um, so now we're back at it. Today is day three of the cabinets. Crossing my fingers that we finish the um, driver's side. So Lou is starting to unload the truck so that we can get started. Um, and we're down to a few hours again because it's after work, of course. Here we go. All right, let's see, we just ran to Home Depot. Always modifications, right? So this is, let's take it out. This is the top, right, that Lou did the notches on. And this is going to be basically the back to support it up because the front is supported by the front of the cabinet and the back would have been angled if we didn't have a back. So when we were adjusting this, I suggested to Lou what she had thought of originally, but then decided against it. Um, let's add, what are they called? Hinges to it. So like that we can just open and close it instead of putting our finger into the hole like we have in our RV cabinet and taking it off. Um, so she agreed and we ran over and we got ourselves hinges. It's gonna fit perfectly, they're one inch hinges. And that's the next step now when we go back is attaching this to this, putting on the hinges, and now we can even remove the supporting blocks to make sure that it doesn't slide back and forth because the hinges are gonna hold it. So we'll be removing that. So learn from us. If you decide you're gonna go with these to hold it in place, awesome. But don't decide you're gonna go with these and then hinges thereafter because when you go to take it off, unfortunately there's gonna be some defect Thankfully, it's the inside and not the outside. So I'm not that upset over it. Insanity. Yeah. Marketed the camera screaming. That's so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> we got all of the back supports up. Whoop, whoop. We're gonna construction glue these down, right? Yeah, and then this is going to have the hinge attached to the top. And the top is perfectly on, not falling. So Lou, so Lou is now going to mark the back to see where the hinges are going to go for all four tops. And before we, before we construction glue the back piece down. These were the absolute perfect size hinges. Lou just did the one for the second one. The first one, unfortunately, we can't do. She did, you'll see the holes. She did do it, um, but it won't come all the way up because of this. So 
the first one is gonna be her original idea where we just pull it up, but all the others will be hinged. Okie dokie, excited to report that all of the hinges are in place. Happy? <laughs> That's a word. <laughs> okay, well let's go ahead and put it up. We'll rip it right out. Two. What am I? What's my? Right here. There we go. I'm in. These are all in. Okay, so we are done with the cabinet. All that's left to do is glue it to the back side. Lift up one of them so that they can see the hinges. Yay! So down there, once that gets glued, that won't move up and down. Um, but we can't glue it yet until we paint um, because we're not painting in here. Um, so that'll be another vlog, the whole painting series. Um, so we hope you enjoyed the build of this driver's side cabinet. If so, please give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you click the little bell icon so you can get notified every time we upload a video. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye guys!